Let's go discover another amazing and authentic Provencal village today. Coutignac is labeled one of the most beautiful villages in France and Anya and I will show you exactly why. We'll see some caves, have lunch and we'll take you to a wine tasting. And while you're in the area, we highly recommend you take the time to visit this former abbey in Le Touronnet, built almost a thousand years ago. And to enjoy the magnificent hilly landscape all around, with its vineyards and wineries to visit. Stay tuned to experience the heart of Provence. As usual, you can find the exact locations and lots more in the description below the film. Once upon a time, when there's a cute little village today, there was a river falling down this steep rock wall. Can you imagine? In the beginning of the 18th century though, the river was redirected and the village as we see it today was built at the foot of the wall. Tourists love this picturesque place, so especially in the summer you won't be alone when visiting. Coutignac is tiny and a very typical Provencal village. Take your time to explore it and soak up the flair. There's this small square at the entrance to the old town with its typical plane trees, a hotel, a few stores including a flower shop, a tiny little grocery store and a bakery that invites you to have a coffee in the shade under the trees. From this square you walk towards Cours Gambetta the main square in Cotignac. You'll pass by the lavoir, the wash house, which you'll find in just about every village in Provence. And then Cours Gambetta is just really inviting, with the impressive canopy of massive old plane trees, at least in summer, and numerous cafes and restaurants serving food and drinks outdoors. There are a few small boutiques on both sides of the street, most of which are quite touristy, which we don't mean in a negative way at all. You can pick up some nice gifts and souvenirs here. When you turn slightly to your left at the end of Cours Gambetta, you'll reach the Grand Rue, with its galleries and boutiques Again, take your time to leave the main road and get lost in little alleys and pretty backyards. Finally, in the Place de la Mairie, you'll find the town hall as well as the clock tower that rings every hour and another fountain, again so typical of a Provencal village. Ready for a little snack or a proper meal? Anya and I chose the Café du Cours at the main square, entirely by chance, but we weren't disappointed and the prices were great. It was unbelievably hot in Cotignac mid-August when we were here, which called for special measures, ice cubes for our rosé. Anya went for a plain pizza margarita, large and savory. Well, I opted for raviolis with truffle cream, quite rich but so good. The dessert was tempting too, but honestly, it was too hot to get too stuffed. As we promised you earlier, there are caves to check out in Coutignac hidden in the tough wall above the village. People used to seek shelter in the caves and stock food during the Middle Ages. You should definitely climb up there, if only for the view. This area is called Provence Verte, Green Provence. You get it, right? 
take the little street next to the town hall and follow the signs Promenade du Rocher. It's a nice little walk uphill, lined with lots of plants, like this pretty fig tree. To climb the wall, you have to pay a small entrance fee. Check beforehand at the tourist office for opening hours. In winter, the caves are usually closed to the public. Some steps are steep and it gets pretty narrow at times. But from up here, you can discover some details that you might have missed from below. Like the amphitheater used for open-air cinema and concerts every summer. There's a maze of caves in the wall, but you can access only a few of them. Take a look at the huge stalactites hanging down from above. There are also houses built partly into the caves. If you want the full experience, you could spend the night in one of these places. There are different options. One of them even with a tiny garden. After this little steep excursion, it's time to try some of the wine growing in the fields all around Cotignac. We'll take you to Maison Mirabeau, right on the main square, Cour Gambetta. Founded by a Brit and his German wife. If you're not into wine tasting, there's also a beautiful little showroom. With lots of cute wine-related products, apart from the selection of rosés. Uh, welcome at Mirabeau. Uh, a little bit of the history about Mirabeau. Um, so we're quite new. Uh, we're not the normal winemakers. We're more like wine brokers. So you can see that Forever Summer, uh, the classic, our first wine, we started in 2010. Then the Pure, and uh, the Pure is quite new, the new bottle design, logo on the bottom, it's quite nice. Uh, so we have a little bit of a unique design also with the waves, you can see it. It's a really nice bottle, it also looks really nice on the table. And the La Folie, our sparkling. Sparkling! Yeah, so it's a rosé sparkling, that's quite nice. Um, also, Yes, we will do that, uh, of course. And also what's quite nice, a nice fact about the sparkling is that it only has 3 grams of sugar. So it's really light on sugar, but still a lot of, a lot of protein. Is. And yeah, it's a good combination also when it's very sunny and very hot. And something refreshing, like a good sparkling rosé. And uh, that's perfect. And then uh, we have our gin, rosé dry gin. Do you want to taste some wine? For more information, including how to purchase Mirabeau wines and gin outside of Cotignac, see the description below the film. Cotignac is in the heart of Provence, surrounded by countless vineyards and wineries, producing mainly rosé. It's amazing to just drive through the typical old villages and rolling countryside and see the vines planted in neat rows to your left and right. A great scenic road to take is the D13 to Carcès. Enjoy the ride and maybe pick one of the so-called chateaux which aren't castles, but wineries, where you can taste and buy wine directly from the producer. This is what the grapes looked like in mid-August. A few more weeks and they'll be ready for harvest. We got caught up taking pictures in the evening sun. But you must see Le Tourone Abbey before you turn off the video. The beautiful former abbey in Le Tourone is about 25 minutes by car from Coutignac. Le Tourone Abbey, along with its sisters Silva Can and Sénanc, is one of the three well-known Cistercian abbeys in Provence. 
All three are popular motifs for book covers and postcards from the region. Le Touronnet Abbey was built in the late 12th and early 13th centuries and is now restored as a museum. It's really worth a visit. Not only can you take beautiful photos, but the old stones tell a lot about the way the monks used to live here. Mostly in silence, simple, without any comforts and ornaments. Starting at the gatehouse, you'll get to see some ruins before entering the main buildings with a cloister in the middle. Afterwards, take some time to browse through the books in the museum store and ask about their summer classical concerts that won't fail to amaze you thanks to the wonderful acoustics inside the abbey. Wow, we are so happy you made it this far. You have to be real fans of the Provence. But did you know that we've already done some other videos about this region? Here they are.